Yo, today I got my chef um, thing on, my chef, um, my chef apron. We're going to make flatbread today. I was going to go out and walk outside and chill outside and do a little walking. Um, but it's raining outside. As we see out here, it's raining outside. Well, it was raining, but it's kind of cold outside. So today, you know, I like to say I'm thankful for Heavenly Father. I like to say thankful for my hands because it produces fruit and it produces fried bread. So today, we're going to do fried bread today, guys. So, all right, I'm going to um, show you guys how to make fried bread, the things, how I do it, how I cook fried bread. You know what I mean? It's gonna come out awesome. So um this video really is me about making fried bread and also sharing the sharing the word of God, you know, and I'm making fried bread because when the Israelites were in the um in the desert in the um wilderness for 40 years, they were like saying they were talking in their mouth like will God feed us? But but God knew he heard it and then God, you know, gave them angel food, you know. It poured out from heaven, angel food, manna, you know. So, you know, that right there, this is not manna, though. I'm, I would like to share that because, you know, fried bread to us Native Americans, you know, to us Native Americans, fried bread is as close as we get to. I, don't, I never tasted manna before, not like that, but but I know, I'm pretty sure manna is good food, you know, because it's angel food, you know. So I like to make some, um, some fried bread right here, you know what I mean? Put it right there, you know, so you guys can see that. All right. First, you're going to need a bowl. You know what I mean? You need a bowl. All right. Put some, put some later. You're going to need a bowl. Okay. And then you're going to need um, you're going to need. Flour, all purpose flour. All right. I'm probably gonna make it like about eight, eight five breads. You know, I, I don't know what we're gonna have it with yet, but I'd like to get the five bread out of the way first. You know, and this one's out. As you know, he's out, so I, I do make fried bread a lot. <sighs> so as I'm making fried bread right here, um, I like to put in like this. I eyeball everything, you know what I mean? I don't really um, measure that. I mean, I just eyeball it, you know? Then next, you have um, baking powder. You always gotta make sure it's a clabber girl one. That's what I always use, you know? And a flour, I, I really don't care if it's that, or, but this is what matters to me right here. That's for me though. You know, like again, I have this much flour in there, about, it's about like, if you see right here, it's about right there. So, how much would it be? But I don't know, but it's right there. And I just kinda eyeball it and it just, Just eyeball it a little bit, you know what I mean? I don't know the measurements, but, but I do know um, how to make it. I don't know. It just, just, it just comes already. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and then some people add salt, some people don't. I usually don't add salt, but, and I usually do. It, it all depends on the mood, I guess. But today, you know what I mean? Since we're the salt of the earth and we got to keep our flavor, so we add some more salt so we don't lose our flavor, you know what I mean? Because Heavenly Father says that do not lose your flavor, salt. What is it? What do they do? It's, it's not good no more because we won't produce goodness for other people. So we got to add salt because we are the salt of the earth. Okay. And then out of that, you just mix it up. You mean just mix it up like this? You know what I mean? Like get them the um, 
flour, the baking powder mixed up together, you know, and just get it all, you know, like it's, it's like cement. You work with cement, you gotta get all the ag aggregates, your sand, your gravel, mix it with your cement, you know, no, not cement, but with your, um, yeah, with your cement gravel, you gotta get your aggregates right. So, this is the same thing, you know, and then we'll add water to it. I like to use warm water. I like to use warm water. Well, the thing about fry bread is it gets on your hand, but but you know what? You you, you got to work with your hands. You got to get your hand messy just to produce that golden nice fry bread. So I like to use warm water. So let me get some warm water. Yeah, so I was gonna, I was gonna, um, I was gonna, you know, go for a walk just to check out the the weather outside, but it was kind of too cold right now. You know, it was too cold to do anything outside. I got I got to bundle up, so it ain't no use trying to bundle up, put on a raincoat on, and get wet for no reason. I mean, you know, I just say, you know what. I'll make some fried bread, you know what I mean? So I called my daughter up, hey, I'm making some fried bread today, you know? She said, oh, I'm, I'll get dropped off there. Said, All right, cool. So my daughter's gonna be here, you know? Um, I need that hug. I need, I need that, I need, I need my daughter's hug, you know? I've been, you know I mean, like lonely for so long, you know? Uh, you know? This one down five bit. So it's kind of you see the steam coming out of it? I mean, it's it's pretty hot, but you just eyeball it too. You know I mean? Like I said, I eyeball everything, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, what I mean by eyeballing everything is if I'm at a job site and we're framing a wall up, you know what I mean? Um, when I'm framing a wall up and they say, Put a level on it, put a level on it, you know. I'll be like, hey, it's level right there. Go back this way a little bit, go back this way. And, 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 and I'll go back like this, you know, and then I'll eyeball that wall up, you know I mean? It's like, all right, yeah, right there, nail it. And then it's like, no, get a level, get a level. And I said, just nail it right there, just put one nail in there and then check it, you know I mean? And then I'll have to check it, you know. It's pretty much close, you know what I mean? So, so I'm good at with, with, um, with, um, leveling with my eyes. With um, but you know what? But you know what? I'm not good at with my eyes though. My eyes always deceive me. In a lot of ways, you know what I mean, when you see a beautiful lady, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, and I and I'm looking at the outside parts, but 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 the what the wicked on the inside. You know what I mean, I guess we all have that problem, you know. So just mix up the, this dough. Just, just dough like this, you know, just keep on mixing it up, you know, and then right now it's kind of, see how it's getting kind of sticky, too much stickiness in it, so that's, so you want to get all that flour on it, you know, as, as you see I'm using my hand, so I just get more flour like this, and then Just get a little bit under there again, you know what I mean? Not too much. Just enough to um, get it nice and um, like a flower, like, you know, just get flour all over it, you know? And then, okay. And then I, I like to take off these things like this, you know, this, this is the only thing that's hard about making it off fabric because it's all over your hand like this. You know, but at the end, it's all worth it. You know, 
you gotta get messy. You gotta work hard. You gotta, you know, make your hands produce fruit like this. And but at the end, this is pretty much how how it is in life. You know what I mean? How God works in our life. You know, you know. First, first we get born. You know what I mean? Out of water. You know what I mean? And then, and then we. It's like three parts. We have water, flour, and baking powder. You know what I mean? So it's like our, it's like our body, our soul, and our spirit. Put in one, right? So, and then God forms us, you know? You know, so. And then God's working on us like this. You know what I mean? And we're going on, but but we're getting knitted to perfection, you know? You know, that's just when we're born, you know what I mean? And then, and then we get it, and then he gets it nice and soft like this. Yes, look at this. Ooh, nice and soft like this. Okay. Oh, okay, I have this right here. I can get it on a cutting board. And I start working on this. Cutting board like this, I just, you know, work like this, you know. I did one point right here. I just take this off my hand. Yeah, yeah, look at this. You know, um, Awesome though, you know, we gotta get this thing going. Fry bread, fry bread, fry bread, you know, get this thing going. And then we we'll just drop this back in there to pick up those little pieces that came on my hand, you know what I mean? No food is left behind around here, you know, even the little, even the little one like this, I put it back in the dough because. It adds up, you know what I mean? Every little thing adds up, you know? So, I use all the dough. I use all the little pieces for the dough, okay? Okay, see that? I use like, pretty much all the, all the dough. You know what I mean? This is just regular flour for, for later, you know? I use that for later, you know? Um, but I just keep on doing this to my hands. Okay. Ah oh, yes, look at this fiber right now. It's coming out good. So at the end of it, guys, your dough should look, look like this. You know, nice and soft. I mean, see that? Nice and soft. See that? Nice and soft like that. I mean, it should be soft. Okay. I just let it sit right there for a minute. You know. Then I'm gonna wash my hands for a minute. Hold on, I'll be right back. Wash my hands. Right, guys, that's how you make fried bread. I remember that's how you make the dough right now. So usually I give it like a, like 20 minutes so the dough can rise, you know, but just the way to get softer, you know, then I will cover it with something, you know, so it stays. Um,
All righty then, guys. That's some marmite fried bread right there. You know, I'll make the dough. And then next, I'm going to get a pan. See this pan right here? It's a, a good, um, I would say six inches wide, you mean? Six inches wide. And um, we, like, we can heat it up. And probably wait for it. Just give it a few. Maybe I'll do it right now. You know what I mean? Since I'm here right now, heat, heat this oven. I heat the stove up. You know, put it right there nicely. And then we'll make some fire bread right now. All right, make some fire bread right here. The stove's on. And then next, you're gonna heat the stove up at. I put mine's at number six. You know what I mean? You know, and then I use um vegetable oil, you know, put some vegetable oil in it. And I'm kind of make it like right about, right about, right there. You know, kind of just, you know, people put a lot in there, you mean? Maybe I'll put it on seven now, since I put a little bit, you know, so. But that's just where it's at, though. Right there, that flour, and right here. All righty, guys. So and then I I like going like this. I like to use a rolling pin, you know. I just like use a rolling pin. So I um so for rolling pin, I notice. This, this right here, this um, water bottle, this right here, whatever this thing is, it works good for dough when you're rolling it because it doesn't stick to it. Like how other pins, like how other rolling pins, like the wood one or the plastic one, you know how you roll the dough out and it sticks to it. This one, it doesn't stick to it. It just perfectly, you know what I mean? This, this one, and it's also, you mean like the right pressure, you know what I mean? So I, I use this for my rolling pin. I mean, it's it's a it it was my water bottle, but now I use it for a rolling pin. So it goes in the rolling pin. Start, you know? And I put a fiber in here, clean this out a little bit. <laughs> put my fiber in there, but yeah, guys, you know. Just gotta make some fried bread right now. Eat some fried bread. Um, I don't know what to make with it right now. Um, probably, but I'm gonna make this for later. I mean, I'm, I'll make it right now, but I'm gonna let it sit for a while and you know, um, for dinner. So I like to get the hard stuff out of the way. So this right here, making the fried bread, making the, I'm making the dough. It takes some time, you know what I mean? So you just have to do it like um, first, you know. And and all that grease that soaks up, if you set it down and let the grease just drain off of it, you know, and it's pretty good, you know. What I mean? Just wait up, just give it some time, it'll be good. As long as you just knowing that we're making fire bread, you know. And I love to cook. Yeah, as you know, I love to cook. Um I have an apron on for a reason, you know. I have a hands for a reason, you know. I cook my own meals. I make my own meals. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep it that way, you know. That way. just just eating home home meals, home cooked meals. But then I'll, I'll I'll get some flour like this. Put some right here. Not too much. Just you know, so it doesn't stick to the um. You know what I mean? 
just barely like like that, you know. And then the fabric. We like this like a lot of fish that pan. It'd be good. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm gonna start making it. I'm doing it too bald right now. So I'll be like, it'd be a lot. So I know how many I'm, I'll, I'll make. You know what I mean? Two. Um, right. See, that's why um, when you get the extra flour in there, you can um, make these little ones and then I put flour on it because some of them do get sticky. But it's okay though, you know? Okay, because you have that flour and extra flour in here, and it kind of gets it back to it. See that? It's nice and perfect, nice and perfect round uh, balls or dough, dough balls. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy, I got a piece of fried bread ready. My mouth is watery right now. Get some fried bread. You know, so it's gonna make some fried bread right here. Make everything all nice and yummy. So when we get done making the fried bread, every week everything will be good. You know what I mean? There it is. Making some fry bread, you know, and then I just put, the, I just put these back in there, you know, like that. So, one, three, six. I made nine, nine um, balls out of that. So, we're, we're going to get nine fry breads out of that. You know, I said eight. I was shooting for eight. Like I said, I eyeball everything. You know what I mean? Like, I eyeball everything. I was, I was going to make eight fry breads. You know what I mean? I eyeballed it. You know, it came out to nine. So, you know, like I said, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, I mean, I made that nine. Maybe I'm going to have a guess over or, you know what I mean? It's whatever. But maybe that one will be for you guys, all right? That, that, that extra fried bread, it's going to be for you guys. So, if you guys want me to chef it up for you guys, a personal chef, let me know. I do um, holiday meals. I do birthday meals. But all this, it has to be only noodles only. Noodles, I was kidding. Give me whatever, you know. Um, you know, I mean, but it's not getting hot yet, but it'll, it'll get there, you know. All right. But I'll make that one fried bread, you know what I mean? And that'll be the whole video right there, guys, you know. Um, but today, I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for this pan, for this bowl right here. For this apron right here, for my hands, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you for everything, Lord. You know, thank you for my viewers out there. You know, sorry I'm making you guys hungry. I know you guys, you know, want fried bread right now, but I'm tell you guys something right now. You know, that fried bread right now is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing. So you just keep it up, man. You know what I mean, like just keep on believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep on believing um, that that we do. Um, prevail when we are weak, you know what I mean? A lot of times I was weak to my addictions, you know what I mean? But, you know, if I'm hungry, you know what I mean? I just say, Lord Jesus, I need, a, I, need a, I need a bag of flour, I need that, so I can just make me a fried bread. I'm good with fried bread, you know, but then it's good with Spam, hamburgers, um, uh, chili beans, um, eggs, Bologna, you know what? This is good with, with bologna sandwich. Shoot, just the bologna by itself, you know? Just put put like three bolognas together, like, oh, put some cheese on it. You, know, you do whatever with green chili, man. Man, I'm getting hungry right now, guys. I'm getting hungry. Oh, my stomach, my stomach's hurting. Come on, hurry up, man, man. Yeah, it's like heating up, guys. You know what I mean? You want this thing super hot, you know what I mean? So it can cook faster, you know? And also, you gotta have our tongs right here. Uh, also, people use forks. 
I like to use forks and just use your tongue so it's just easy to grab it and flip it, you know? And put some fry bread here in a bit. Make that yumminess, the yummy fry bread. Oh. Gotta have this covered up a little bit. Yeah, guys. Um, once again, thank you for watching Nate's Chef. You know what I mean? Whatever you want me to cook, let me know. I'll cook it up. You know what I mean? Um, do I know how to butcher your sheep? No, I don't know how to butcher. Yeah, I mean, I guess I know how to butcher your sheep. I've seen it done a long time ago, thousands of times. I helped out. You know, so we're just going to be doing this right now. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, you know. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe this video. Hit me up. Say, hey, Nate, good job. You know I mean? Say, hey, Nate, we like your fiber. Hey, Nate, we like your underwear. No, my underwear is not like this either. You know, it's not. But I like this because, you know what I mean? I feel like a zebra sometimes, you know, how the lions attack you. And I mean, how the hyenas try to try to try to attack you. You know, I, I just wear this because you know what? I run fast, I kick hard, you know what I mean? And I run through the through the swamp, through the rivers, I run through the jungle, you know, go fast, you know. And after that, you know, I'm all good. But no, I didn't get this for I think I got this because it was it was on sale. You know. But it has pockets. Yeah, it has pockets. Uh, you know, pockets are there. <clears throat> I think it's hot now, guys. Let's get this started. Let's get one started. You ready for this? So when that's going, I'll have to start another one because they kick fast. You know? See that nice and golden brown fiber right here? Look at that, nice and gold fiber. Got another one. You got it easy. That grease will jump back at you though. You want to drop that grease? You know? 
Nastavíme. Well, guys, the flat brake's coming out pretty good, you know. So, oh, I just went pretty good. Ooh, uh, so I got muscles. This is a flat brake, guys. I was raised on fried bread. I wanna be so light red. Cause I'm so fried bread. Fried bread out, fried bread out. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. I wanna get that kind of like grease coming out. A little bit. Yeah. Just put it over here, like that. That's oh. what's going on there. Excellent, guys. The fiber, you can see the bubbles under. Oh. Yeah, I mean, so when you see bubbles like this right here, like that, that means you're doing a good job, that your ingredients were on, was on point, that, that everything worked out good, it's doing its job, it's reacting back good, you know? Like I said, no measurements, all about... <sighs> Uh, you know, why am I single? Because I've seen the way you ladies cook. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shoot. That would say, oh, I want, some, I want some Taco Bell. Oh, I want some Burger King. Oh, I want some uh, Dairy Queen. I want some uh, Bur uh, whatever's out there, Sonics. You know, I was like, what? You really want all that stuff? I said, I can make you, I can make you the whole meal, you know? But, you know what? I guess that's their loss. You mean? Their loss. You know? It's their loss. But I, I'm so grateful though, I'm so grateful that the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God, and people out there that are doing God's work, doing God's will, that we learn from, you know, that we get healing from, that, you know, we, that, we, that we get to be ourselves, you know, we get to be ourselves, you know, through Christ in us, that's who we, it's who we are. You know? We are children of God, we are sons of God, we are daughters of God. We are made righteous in his eyes and they look like as better for that. You know what I mean? Just to live here on earth as not only he's my Lord and Savior, not only he's my king, you know. And and to give thanks, you know, for for these for these moments like this, you know. Just 
good things for these moments like this right here. Ah. Thing, man, all oh, this stuff is happening right now. All this thing's happening right now, guys. You know, I'm glad that I'm glad that we have power. You know, if, if the angels were if the angels were in heaven eating manna, you know, there has to be flour up there, right? You know, and and God said, you know what? I'm gonna put flour down here for these guys so they can make. Fry bread, they can make tortillas, they can make enchiladas, they can make tortas, they can make whatever with flour, cake, cornbread, um, you know, yeast rolls, loaves of bread, all kinds of different loaves of bread, you know. But you guys, very glad you guys are here with me. Very glad, you know. You guys are here. What is me? What is me? How to make fried bread? Okay. We have four, four to go, five, four down, five more to go. You know, and then we'll do a taste test, and pretty much tell you guys how it tastes. I can man, my mouth is so watery right now. I'm so hungry for. It. It smells too small. It smells like fried bread too, you know. It's good. It's, it smells like real fried bread. Oh, it is real fried bread, but it just smells like so awesome. Oh, that was good. But yes, it's just the things that. It's the things that um. We're grateful for bread. You know, I really don't know what I'm gonna eat this yet. You know what I mean? Um. Probably spam, I don't know. Oh, maybe chili beans. I don't know. Or maybe just bread alone, maybe bologna. But I'll make something real. You know what would be good too? Hamburgers. Maybe I'll make some hamburgers with this. Hmm? Yeah, some hamburgers. Oh, we some hamburgers. Man, I better stop. Yeah, I better stop. I better stop. I better stop. I'm on a diet, so I'm on a diet eating. I'm making the diet fried bread, right, guys? This is a diet fried bread. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know why it's a diet fried bread? Because I'm getting all the grease off there. So, it's going to become a diet fried bread. All right. Ooh. Okay, fried bread. It smells good, guys. It smells like fried bread. Start doing this when I know it's coming out good, and I know that I'm hungry, and I know that oh, you know, like it's gonna be a bomb B, you know. Ooh, this fry bread is coming out looking good, not that much. Ah, you see that? You gotta go, ah, that you go, ah, gotta give it a little bit, ah. Oh, yeah, that stuff 
air fry that. Oh yeah. Oh, let's get some good stuff in here from my baby. I was gonna make some hamburgers, but I said, nah, not yet. Like I said, I, I wanna get the fried bread out of the way first and I'll make dinner, but right now, so I, I was about to make, I might've made something with the fried bread, but I'm gonna eat a fried bread though. Hey, that's what the knife one came in at, guys. That knife fried bread, it knew I was gonna eat it first, cause I wanna make eight, eight fried breads for later, but I got that one, so yeah, see what I mean? Huh, I told you, I eyeball everything right, you mean? I eyeball me the extra fried bread, you mean? That way no one would know that I told them we ate eight, eight fried breads, and at the end of it, is we ate fried breads. You mean by the end? My work, I bless, I bless me with one fried bread, you mean? You know, yeah. I don't know if that's called blessing, because I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat two more later. So I'm gonna have three fried breads. Ah, oh, man. Man, you know what? I'm just, I'm just okie dokie myself right now. <sighs> you see, guys, it's just so hard not to eat fried bread. Too much fried bread, it's so good. You know, it's so good. But hey, you know what? If I eat three fried breads, <sighs> I have to go fasting. You know, and right now. <laughs> Why did I start making fried bread? Why did I start making fried bread? Oh no. Oh no. It looks so good. Just like I said, I was I wasn't bored. I just wanted just to do something online because I'm always talking about well, it's good to talk about the word all the time, trust me. It's good to be in the spirit and the truth at all times from verse 7, you know? But that's what I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to share you with you guys. I mean, you can, you can, whatever you do, invite Jesus Christ to it, you know what I mean? And when you invite Jesus Christ to it, he blesses it, you know what I mean? You know, and I also made eight fried breads that, that nice one came out, you know what I mean? So he multiplies the fried bread for you too, you know? You know? It happens for a reason, you know what I mean? Happens for a reason, you know. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm just here kicking back. I should be starting to roll the other one. Right there, see that, guys? This is how you make the fried bread. This is how you start making things happen for you guys. That goodness of the fried bread. All right. It's the awesomeness of the fried bread. So we're gonna have some more, take some more um, lessons right here, but the fried bread right now. As we say this. We're going to go um, enjoy the uh, fruits of our labor. You mean what the hands produce? Are you going to do good works with your hands? Or are you going to do bad works with your hands? So right now we're going to fry bread. It's good works. All right? If you call fry bread, good works. You know what I mean? Fry bread, good works. Yes. So we, so we do this, 
Enjoy the fries over right here. This is the last one right here. Number nine. We're cleaning out the bowl out, you know what I mean? So I put my fried bread in there. Ooh, look at that, guys. Fried bread, fried bread, fried bread, fried bread. After it's done, I like to put my fried bread like this up away so you mean so it can still drip. Like I said, this is a diet fried bread. This is a diet fried bread. So I stand up so all that grease can just drain down. If there's any, you know what I mean? Oh, this is a diet fried bread right now. You know what I mean? It's getting hot in here, guys. Turn that off. And I'll replace this one with, with this one here. Okay, guys. Okay, here's a fire pit right here. Okay, so you can see how. On both sides, man, it's golden. Okay, put some salt on it like this. Okay. Then, all right, let's go check this out right here. So, some fly bird here, let's try it out. Fried bread. Mm. Wow. 
Wow. Can't go wrong with fry bread. Okay. See how it opens like this? You can put meat in there, tacos in there, chalupa. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. pretty good, guys. I give it a can. Awesomeness, greatness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some Kool Aid, diet Kool Aid. It's a watered down Kool Aid. Well. It's perfect. It's like perfect Kool Aid, but it's kind of like, you know how it's perfect Kool Aid, but it's kind of under it. So it's the next perfect one. So it's like awesome. Like, like you can taste the Kool Aid. You can taste, you know, like, it's like it's a flavored water. Okay. So I'll try to fry bread again, guys. Man. Mm. 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 Wow. This is my first time eating on camera. Real talk. I feel like Martha Stewart or Rachel Ray. Mm. I kind of like Rachel Ray, you know? Michael Stewart, I mean, a Michael Stewart. She's pretty good, but I think Rachel Ray's better. But I do like Michael Stewart though. It's not because of she went to prison and all like that. It's not because of that, it's just because I watched Rachel Ray more, and I met Rachel. No, I'm not met, but I was. I watched her, or I got to know her, not know her personally, but of her first and the Martha Stewart. I got to learn about Martha Stewart when she was the. She went through. She went through when she was going to prison. You know I mean like when, when those cases was going on? That's when I. Well, that's when I was forced to watch it because it's always on TV. It's always on that. But before that, I never. Like I said, I grew up on a reservation and I knew, but I knew Rachel Ray, though, you know, because I just watched her after school, you know. Um, that's what got me in, in, into cooking, too, you know, so I heard her, you know, but I'm tired right now. I just fried bread. It's awesome. Okay. Make sure my teeth wasn't this yellow. <laughs> you know, no, no. I thank God that all the meth I did in my life, all the drugs I did in my life, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't, I didn't lose the teeth. I didn't lose the tooth in me, or, or now my tooth got gone, you know? Maybe because I was an alcoholic too, because I drank whiskey all the time. So, so that alcohol. Kill all that on chemicals. You know? That was on fire bread. That was a. I don't know how much fire bread I grew up right now. I think. I think they go for $5 for one fire bread. I think, I don't know. Well, that's how you make fire bread, guys. Okay. You guys stay blessed. God bless you guys. Walk right there. I have eight left, so hey, it worked out good. All right. Hope, I'm hoping my kids come over. You know what I mean?
So I, I mean, I mean, I have one, so I'm gonna not eat one later. I might just eat. I don't know, but it was so good. Man, I want another one. All right, guys, have a good day, good night, good evening, wherever you may be. Awesomeness. Stay strong with the Lord. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, from all my body parts, my teeth, all my my mind got renewed, you guys. My ears got everything. Thank the Father, Jesus Christ, for everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you.